The Hawkeyes have a high caliber defense that is going to make it very difficult for the Cornhuskers offense to make any kind of play downfield. On offense, the Hawkeyes have been doing what they can to get points on the board, using the run game to pick up first downs and the passing game to get into the red zone. Johnson has been a great option on the ground this season, as he is averaging 5.2 yards per carry, so the Hawkeyes will use him to gain field advantage early. Petras is averaging 6.2 yards per completion, so expect him to attack in the air to make space for Johnson and the running game. I expect the Iowa defense to be too much for the Nebraska offense and for the Hawkeyes to expose a poor Cornhuskers defense on the ground. I'm going to take the Iowa Hawkeyes at minus 10.5, and, and if you are interested in a total, the Hawkeyes are averaging 17.5 points per game while allowing just 13.5 points per game. The Cornhuskers are averaging 22.5 points per game while surrendering 20.5. Although the Cornhuskers are averaging 22.5 points per game, the Iowa defense will not allow that. The Nebraska offense is facing one of the toughest defenses in college football and is really going to struggle to get the ball past them. Iowa's offense isn't known to be explosive by any means, so don't expect a lot of points on the board from them. Evans and Van Ness are going to cause a lot of disruption for the Cornhuskers, so I don't expect the offense to get to the red zone for a majority of the drives. So the two plays we'll go with, because we're going to go with the under here, 38 and a half. Take the Iowa Hawkeyes minus 10.5 and, and go under 38.5. What say you? Let me know in the comment section. Always interested to hear your take. Taylor Fade, may the winner be yours. Good luck and go get them. This is Trending Rabbit.